Now, the man known as the father of IVF has died. Professor Sir Robert Edwards' pioneering work led to the first so-called test tube baby in 1978 and helped millions of couples start their own family. Professor Edwards began experimenting in fertility in the 1960s. Along with his colleagues, he began pioneering research into the possibility that human eggs could be fertilized outside the human body. It led to the birth of the first ever test tube baby, Louise Brown, in 1978. Carrying on his revolutionary research, Sir Robert founded the world's first IVF clinic in 1980, and his research into IVF is regarded as the cornerstone of modern fertility treatment. In 2010, he was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize, and thanks to his research and discoveries, more than five million babies have been born worldwide. Well, with me now is Dr. Ahmed Ismail, who is a facility expert and director of the Queen's Clinic in central London. It's a pleasure to have you on tonight, sir. It's a pleasure and to I see you. And I know that you. you knew the man. Was he, well, well, was he a great man? Yes, he's absolutely great. He's one of the uh, figures which changed the world, the face of the world, before his dates with the... Uh, uh, Patrick Steptoe, he was his partner in the discovery of the IVF. Uh, it was virtually impossible to get any child born with tubes which is totally damaged and uh, totally irreplaceable by anything. Uh, he came with this brilliant idea, which is at the moment, as you, say, uh, as you said before, it's over 5 million Amazing. people worldwide. And, so and now, he, he helped create the first test tube baby, Louise Brown. Absolutely, Louise Brown, Brown absolutely. She's a very healthy 35-year-old lady. And she had a baby as well. Yes, which is and, fantastic. Uh, uh, the interesting thing is there was a question mark about uh, uh, whether this baby is going to be normal or abnormal, is going to live for long or for short life. Now we know that they are as normal as anybody else. Uh, and what impact, well, the impact of his work is very obvious, but what did he make of how big infertility and certainly IVF has become in the world? Because as you said, five million babies have been born because Absolutely. of his procedures. The, the, the most interesting thing is, uh, in every corner of the world at the moment, there's an IVF unit. However remote the, the part of the world is, there is an IVF unit. The success rate is variable, as you appreciate. In, in, now we are reaching, in England, in London, over 60%. Uh, in these days, one baby made history. Now we talk about 60% of every uh, uh, 100 people, 60 women go, go home with babies. He must have been very proud of his achievement. Do you think oh, it was a Nobel Peace Prize? We piece all are proud because he, Patrick Stepp, was a gynecologist, and he's a scientist. Uh, Sir uh, uh, Robert uh, Edward, uh, and he is uh, is non-medical, as you uh, as you knew. And he once said, I believe, that having a child is the most important thing that you can have in or do in your life. So he oh. must have been very proud of his work and very driven person. Absolutely, he was such a, a decent, uh, down to earth, very polite, very it's giving the, the character of a giving person. And uh, it just we lost a great man. A man which I think the world will ever, will never forget him. But you will carry on his legacy, which is great I to know. I hope so. Dr. Ahmed Ismaili, so. thank you very much for your time. It's tonight. an honor. Thank you. Pleasure too.